Hey everyone and welcome to today's video and today's going to be a tutorial on how to create a simple mandala patterned animal that you can incorporate into a KDP colouring book which are very popular and sell well on Amazon. Now if you've not been here before my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it, grow it, that's your money I'm talking about and if you do like videos like that then please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. Now, before we get started, there is a storm that's just about to, to pass overhead. So if it does get a bit noisy, then apologies in advance. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at how to create a simple mandala patterned animal. And these are very popular on Amazon. And if we take a look, I'll show you the type of thing that I mean. So you can see here, I just did a search for animal mandala colouring. And you've got these animal shapes like this that have this mandala pattern inside. And these are very popular in colouring books. Now these images range from being very basic and simple to being quite sophisticated. But I'm going to show you a technique in Illustrator to create a very simple basic one of these but you can use this to create something more sophisticated and more complex if you like. So let's show you how to do this. Now, first we need the outline of our animal. And for this, I've gone over to Creative Fabrica, but you can go to other sites and download a similar vector image, you know, sites like Vecteezy. Um, but for today, we're gonna to be using Creative Fabrica. And I found this one here. I just did a search for animal outline and I downloaded this. And also we need a mandala pattern for our animal. And again, Creative Fabrica, I just did a search for mandala patterns and I'm gonna download this vector graphic. Now you can download PNGs or JPEGs, send them over to Illustrator and convert them into um, vector graphics but it's probably a bit easier if you just download them directly as vector images. So we're in Adobe Illustrator and here is our vector image of all the different types of animals. And we're gonna choose this antelope here. So I've just got a little bounding box. I'm just gonna click on it and click Control C or Command C to copy. And we have our mandala pattern here that we've already got open. And we're just gonna paste Control V or Command V and we've got our white antelope here. And we're just gonna position this somewhere over the mandala pattern. And what we need to do next is we need to create a copy of this and paste on top. So Command or Control C and then Command or Control F. And if you can see in the layers box, we've now got this image superimposed over our original image. And we just want to hide that at the moment. So hide the antelope image that's on top by just clicking on the eye. So that's hidden. So now, this is quite simple. What we need to do is put a bounding box around our mandala pattern and our antelope. And then on the right hand side, we go to our Pathfinder window. If that's not open, just go to the window tab at the top and click on Pathfinder. And then what you need to click on is this button here, which is minus back. So if you just click on that, boom, you can see straight away, we now have our antelope with this pattern, but we don't have an outline around it. So what we need to do is that window that we turned invisible or layer that we turned invisible, we just need to click on the eye icon and make it visible. Now that's on top and is hiding our pattern. So we just need to put our mouse, left click and just drag that to below where it says group. And now you can see we have our antelope and it has an outline. Then what we need to do next is make the lines a bit thicker. So just drag and put a bounding box over our, our animal. Now, first of all, click on control or command G and that will group all of this together. Then on the right hand side in our color window. We want to make sure that the stroke is selected and then we go down to weight in our stroke window and just increase the weight by clicking on the up arrow and we can increase that so it's quite thick but I think just one point would suffice. 
So there we have our mandala patterned antelope. Now we could just copy this, Control C or Command C, go to our coloring book page, which is 8.5 by 11, and just paste. Then just click Shift and drag, and you can enlarge that and put it on the page. However, that on its own as a coloring book page is a bit dull. So we're gonna, what we need to do is create a patterned background. So for the moment, I'm just gonna hide this image. So in our layers panel, just click on the eye icon and that will render it invisible. So we're going to go back to Creative Fabrica and there are many patterns that you can choose from. You could choose something like this chevron pattern or this one here, which is a paisley pattern. Now what I've showed you with regards putting this mandala pattern inside the animal, you could use with any sort of pattern. It doesn't have to be a mandala pattern. So you could use a, a paisley pattern, a chevron pattern, go to somewhere like Vectezi or Creative Fabrica, do a search for patterns and do something quite original. But for this background, we're gonna choose this red paisley pattern. So we're gonna download that and open it up in Illustrator. And here we have it here. So we're just gonna click on that, Control C to copy or Command C, go to our page, our 8.5 by 11 page, and then Control V or Command V to paste. Now that's a rather large pattern, so we're just gonna reduce the size and then just shift and just drag that down and then move it back over our page like so. And then we'll just enlarge the size of the page again so you can see what we're doing in a bit more detail. Now the problem with this is that the pattern is red so we need to change this to a black and white pattern. So just click on the pattern then go over to the colour window and click on the fill box and then click on the white. So now we've got our black and white pattern but the outlines are not black or the stroke is not black so we need to click on the stroke box Click on the black, color black, and again, go down to the stroke, and we can increase the weight or decrease it, but this time, again, we're gonna have the weight as one point. And there we have our nice paisley background, which I think looks pretty good. Now, if we go to our layers panel on the left-hand side here, we're just gonna click on the eye icon, which will make our antelope visible. But at the moment, it's now positioned under this pattern background so we just need to left click on it and just drag it above our pattern and here we have our antelope and we can position that on the page accordingly now the next thing we need to do is to export this as a png so export export as now this is a crucial bit you need to click on the use artboards and call this and give this a name Let's call it Animal Mandala 3 because I was producing some other practice patterns earlier. So we'll export that. Click on OK. Now I've got this set at 300 uh, PPI dots per inch and Art to Optimize Super Sampling. So just then click on OK. Now in order to get this into a colouring book page, I normally create my um, all my book pages within either PowerPoint or Keynote. And today we're going to be using PowerPoint. So I'll open that. And we've got our page. I've created this as a size 8.5 by 11 again. And it's just a case of dragging and dropping that uh, PNG image that we've just created into PowerPoint or Keynote. So I'll just do that and I'll drag that straight across like so into PowerPoint and bang, there we have our coloring book page, which I think that looks pretty good for a page. And you can create, you know, your, your next page and do, go through a similar process and create a different type of image. Now you can see here, when we take it across to, to PowerPoint, the lines within the animal look a bit thinner than the lines within our pattern. So what you could do is go back to Illustrator, click on the animal that we created and just increase the weight to two points. And then like we did before, just export it and then drag it back into PowerPoint to see what it looks like. But even with this one in PowerPoint, I think that looks pretty good as a coloring book page. Now you could use other shapes, not just stick to animals. Um, you could um, use objects or something I thought of 
was things like sports people. So you could do a colouring book of sports images with this sort of pattern. So it could be someone playing hockey, someone playing football, someone playing baseball and use a similar sort of um, technique um, to produce similar types of pages. So these are just principles that I'm showing you. I'm not saying go out and create an identical page like this, but use this principle to create a pattern within a shape that you can incorporate into a coloring book. And what I've shown you here um, doesn't take too long at all. And really, using your imagination, you could create all sorts of wonderful images and coloring book pages. So that's it. It's relatively straightforward, which is good. It doesn't take you long to do, and you can create these pages relatively quickly. Now, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. But make sure you do hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to receive notifications of when I do more videos like this. And until next time, goodbye.